first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News at 5.30. It's Lead Poisoning Prevention Week, one of the most serious health risks for children under six, leading to learning disabilities, decreased growth, even brain damage. About one in 11 children in this country have high levels of lead in their blood, and many children are not even tested for this. The St. Joseph County Health Department's trying to change that, though. WSBT's Patrick Roth is at the live desk to show us how. Patrick. The St. Joseph County Health Department just received the $2.4 million federal grant to search for and remove lead. And they say that'll go a long way towards helping those at risk for lead exposure. When it comes to lead poisoning, the State Health Department says St. Joseph County is at high risk. In our community, we have over 80% of our homes were built before they banned lead-based paint. So there's a high potential for lead poisoning in St. Joseph County. This is an important reminder that indeed lead poisoning is still in our community. Children under the age of six are at the highest risk for lead poisoning. And the county health department believes only 16% of them are actually being tested. The good news is though it's 100% preventable. So we want to try to get out the information to the community again. And that's why you see a lead poisoning prevention week. Another bit of very good news for people in St. Joseph County is the health department and other local partners got a nearly $2.5 million grant from HUD. For a general homeowner, if they were interested in having us come out, it's just about an hour's process. And that's a free um, service that's offered through the health department. The money from that grant doesn't just cover lead detection. It also covers a portion of the cost for removal. And that can go a long way towards improving the lives of those at risk. Because we're, what we're really looking at is prevention. You know, you can spend um, money in treatment, but if you can prevent the lead poisoning, it's money well spent. Don't start your child off on the wrong foot. Have your house tested, certainly. Now, the program is looking for places that qualify for the grant, specifically for families with kids under the age of six who live in multi-unit apartments built before 1978. For more about the program, or if you think you qualify, you can head over to our website at wsbt.com, where we have more information. From the Live Desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT Channel 22.